Oh my god. This is so tense. He's got one. Who is it? Do you want to read the name? I don't know how to read cursive. Oh, okay. It's probably well, your dad. Then. Not a guy, but I know who this is, by the way. Manny Mercado. All right, Manny. Manny's a great guy. He won. It's nobody that's here. Back a little bit. Manny Mercado is the winner. Sebastian. Great Your job. father is angry with you out there. You should have picked the right one. They do. Hey, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody. Manny Mercado, who's a great guy, supports us in a lot of these things. And uh, Sebastian drew the M M Manny Mercado. We'll give him a call right away. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank hey, you, Matt. Good thanks, good. everybody. We good love good. it. See you Wednesday. How's that? Todd Woods, everybody. <laughs> Todd, thanks again. <laughs>Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, this lovely Saturday morning. It is so great to spend some time with you, and I can't thank you enough for making the time to spend with me here on Freeman Adventures just about every single day. I can't thank you enough. A little overcast, a little cool, but the fishing is red hot. And, of course, I just got off the El Patron with an extraordinary crew out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro and a group of people that once again just blows me away. How wonderful and giving and loving people that are surrounding the Freedman Adventures podcast are. And this was an example of that again. There were so many nice people on board. I can't mention individuals because I'll leave somebody out. And every single person on that trip, it was just another example of how great you all are. I guess one I'm going to mention. Sebastian, his dad Josh brought him out. He was fantastic and of course he just showed us that Manny Mercado won a brand new reel so Manny congratulations thanks for all you do to help us help our brothers and sisters on the other side of the border down in beautiful Mexico and for all of you who participated thank you very very much we couldn't do it without you Sebastian not only caught a bunch of fish but he's got a football game this morning and his team is watching me right now so I'm here to motivate you to go out and conquer this morning and play one heck of a good football game. I know you'll give it 100%, and that's all your dad is going to ask of you. Well, he probably wants you to win, too, but give it 100%, and that other part will follow. I guarantee you that. Great to be here once again. I want to mention Independence. We are going October the 20th. It's a five-day trip, and you're going to want to be part of it. Jump on that trip by going to independentsportfishing.com. And don't you dare buy any lobster gear without going to the Promar Ahi website. Put in Friedman 10, Friedman 10 at checkout, 10% off of anything lobster that you buy. Anything lobster, 10% off when you put the code Friedman 10 in there. So do that, man. Lobster season is upon us. It should be a lot of fun. All right, let's jump into it with you all right now because we've got a lot to cover with you. We'll start on the other side of the border down there around Ensenada, 70 miles across the border where that beautiful little town is. And incidentally, happy Independence Day to all our friends in Mexico. Today is their Independence Day, and it's a big celebration. Con el grito de Dolores, feliz día de independencia a todos nuestros amigos en México y, bueno, mexicanos mundial también. Wishing everybody just a wonderful day. Down in that neck of the woods, there are some kelps. There's some free-swimming dorado. There's some free-swimming yellowfin and bluefin tuna. You can find them by trolling lures around. Some days you get them down there. Some days you don't. If you don't get them, you fall back into the local area around Todos Santos, Puna Banda, University Point, and other areas where you can catch copious amounts of rockfish. You can also catch bonita, still some barracuda, some really good calico bass fishing. So there's a lot of great activity down there on the other side of the border. We jump you out to the San Diego area, and oh my God, for the most part, it is full speed, wide open, great fishing going on down there. I'll tell you, the overnight boats, uh, well, let's put it this way, day and a half boats at least, guys fishing at night are just walloping 
the bluefin tuna. While most of them, it seems like right now there's a lot of that 20 to 40 pound fish, you'll find other boats who will go out, search around and find some bigger grade fish. And they're still lurking around still up in that 200 plus pound category. So don't be lulled into a state of complacency. If you're fishing at night and you're fishing with the heavier jigs, three to 400 gram jigs, sometimes they want to bite the two 250s, but when you're doing that, fish the heavy line. Nothing less than 100, 200 pound liter material. And uh, man, I'll tell you, when the captain tells you to drop, you drop immediately and you have to know the depth of your lure. And you do that by having metered, colored line, changes color every 100 feet. That perhaps is the biggest key to your success, knowing what depth your jig is at. It helps you so very much. Keep that in mind. I know that will help you a great deal. There was some great nighttime fishing going on last night. Several boats turning in limits of bluefin tuna as the daytime bite is also on. And it stretches from San Diego right on up here to San Pedro. There are fish in our local waters. They're starting to bite. Some of these guys are on that. Tanner Cortez has been a little bit off. Those banks are not biting as good as they once were, but a lot of guys now are not fishing it because they're in here. Cortez still has those big yellowtail, which you can catch, and man, those are gorgeous fish. A lot of it 15 to 25, some bigger than that. Uh, surface iron, fly line bait, of course, fishing fluorocarbon is a must, 25 to 40 pound in most cases. www.opsinusa.com. That is the way to make things happen. And man, choosing a hot bait, changing that bait regularly makes all the difference in the world. Old glory, limits of bluefin tuna. Scott Buchert was on the Navagante out of Redondo Sport Fishing, decking on that trip. Two day limits of bluefin tuna. Malahini leaves in the morning, comes back in the evening, 35 on the yellowfin tuna, and a Dorado to go along with that. Todd Woods, who did the cockadoodle do. He's such a great guy, and he graces the cover of the morning briefing. Todd, my friend, it's always good to see you. He was out on the Mission Bell with our friend Sean Hardigan. They had 18 yellowfin, 11 Dorado. The San Diego, 34 guys, 102 yellowfin tuna, 3 Dorado. Pacifica, limits of bluefin tuna. Polaris Supreme, limits of bluefin tuna. Pegasus, Pacific Queen, Pacific Dawn, all over the bluefin tuna. Great fishing going on and it's hard to believe that it's as good as it is but we saw this coming and it's not over by a long shot it's going to continue to roll on as long as our water temperatures stay good man i would love to see some of this chocolately chocolate uh, water that we have here in fact we we're on the el patron yesterday and we ran through eight miles of that stuff so hopefully that's going to clean up here very very soon i'm not exactly sure if it's a red tide thing or what it is uh, I get a call one of my oceanographical experts and get you tuned up on that because I need to be tuned up on that so some really excellent fishing going on and it doesn't seem to want to get any better now some of these long plunker bites the freelance got into one of those yesterday out of Davies Locker Newport Beach you're hanging they were in a six hour drift Tim Marquez was on that trip he's a Freeman Adventures family member he's a fan fantastic guy and he took his cousin his cousin's been feeling ill for quite some time and tim said man you know what you're looking good you're feeling better let's go let's get out and catch a bluefin tuna so he took his cousin out there and they had a great time they hooked over 70 fish on this trip ended up with 20 mixed tuna so they had yellowfin tuna and bluefin tuna i think they had two or three dorado to go along with it and yes yes Tim's cousin came up with a bluefin tuna. Guy that's sick goes out with Tim, catches a fish. How can it get any better than that? Great trip on the freelance. Man. They hooked so many fish. And once again, when you're in those long plunker bites, that's when choosing a hot bait really pays off. That's when even dropping down to 20-pound fluorocarbon will really help you get it done. Great trip there. Enterprise got into a two-hour drift, hooked 26 bluefin, ended up with six fish. So there are opportunities right now i surmise being a weekend that it's going to be tough there's going to be a lot of boat pressure on it but we'll get back to the weekdays and the weather is going to be great next week and i think guys will conk at it who knows they may get into it today and wallop those fish they're acting more and more like they really want to chew and that is great news so some great local tuna fishing 
Dana Wharf boats in on it. Oceanside boats in on it. As I mentioned, if some of these guys here in the San Pedro area want to run down there, they can do that. I don't think that the light switch is on quite enough to do it because, I mean, seriously, you go down there and let's say you end up with six bluefin tuna. There's a lot of people that didn't get a bite or didn't get the opportunity to catch a fish. So it's it's something that is emerging and I think we're almost there. Certainly that freelance trip, everybody had an opportunity. There are other boats that got in on it. I don't even mention all the private boaters that are having such great success right now and having so much fun. So there is some really great fishing going on up and down the coast and hopefully we'll see even more bluefin up there out of the channel islands they're still bouncing around up there we're keeping our eyes on that very closely for you we'll get to the islands now coronado islands not many guys fishing it offshore is too good san clemente island same thing offshore is too good now there's a few yellows a little bit of calico bass there catalina island we were there yesterday on the el Patron, and it was nothing wide open but man it sure was fun i don't know if it was the opportunity for a big bass in the weeds. I don't know if it was that beautiful, picturesque island. Yeah, I do know what it was. It was the people on board. They were fantastic, great people, wonderful crew. We had such a good time, and I thank you all for showing up on that trip. And we did catch some really nice bass. As I said, nothing wide open, but we picked some nice bass. Now, Terrence Hong was on the trip, and he had a limit of nice calico bass. Other guys were doing really well also. But Terrence, he wasn't fishing light line. I asked him, oh, you must be fishing 15, huh? He goes, no, I'm fishing 30 pound, 30 pound fluorocarbon. And all he was doing was making a little bit longer cast right in the holes in the kelp. Now that presented the problem of getting that fish out of the kelp once you hooked it. But he hooked a whole bunch and he got most out. He did really, really good. So once again, a lot of guys were trying to fish the lip of the kelp or weren't able to make that long cast and they weren't getting the bites, but when you cast it back behind the kelp in a hole, wham, you got bit. In fact, uh, Dan Lightfoot, same thing. Dan said, man, when I started throwing into the holes, I threw in there five times and got bit every single time. That was a lot of fun. Caught a little bit of rockfish and some sheep had to go along with it on an absolutely pristine and gorgeous day. El Patron, you should get on board. That crew is fantastic. Will the captain fantastic chauncey on deck can't be any more entertained than you will be with chauncey he's a great guy and hi me down in the galley putting out some good carnivore food for yours truly a lot of fun on board that trip all right and then channel islands tons of rockfish up there up there on the coral sea out of santa barbara limits of lingcod and all kinds of other rockfish to go along with it 25 guys 50 nice lings So nothing wrong with that. On the coast, fishing locally, as I said, this is becoming more and more of a thing. A shot at some tuna. San Diego, good calico fishing, rockfish. Same thing pretty much up and down the coast. A little bit of bass here and there. L.A. Orange County Bass Boats, not much on the rockfish because of this off-color water. But I'm I'm sorry, not much on the bass uh, because of the off-color water. But they're able to limit you out on rockfish and then go look at tuna. What the heck is wrong with that, man? And then out there in the Santa Monica Bay, good rock fishing up there. And the Island Spirit, Ventura Harbor sword fishing, Cody Rogers. Good morning, Cody. It's always good to see you. Good bottom fishing, lots of whitefish, rockfish, that kind of thing going on up there in that neck of the woods. I love what they are doing up there at Ventura Harbor sword fishing. Customer service is way up here, and the fishing's pretty darn good on a regular basis. 805 676 three four seven four in the surf there's more and more corvina some of this water has cleaned up sand crabs light line little trout rod and you're rocking and rolling you can throw a chrome crocodile three quarter ounce and catch all kinds of yellowfin croaker in here and of course with all of your bait and all of the tackle you'll need for the surf and tuna and everything else your surf fishing headquarters big fish bait and tackle about a 15 minute walk down to the corner of pacific coast highway and seal beach boulevard go check them out and uh, enjoy yourself because uh, they'll get you geared up and ready to fish the surf right here. Don't forget, if you're going lobster fishing and you're going to buy your gear, get 10% off by putting in Friedman 10 on the PromarAhi.com website. That'll make all the difference in the world to me and to them also in Independence, October 20th. I don't think you're going to want to miss that five-day. Fishing is as good as it can get. Great boat, great crew, great food, great fishing, 
with Friedman Adventures. I'll be there to film the entire adventure. It is going to be fun. Go to independentsportfishing.com and sign up for our October 20th departure trip. All right, my friends, really good meeting you all yesterday. The El Patron, congratulations. Manny Mercado, way to go. Feliz Dia de Independencia to all our friends in Mexico. And don't forget, stay in touch with all the very latest. Give us a like, share these videos, tick the bell, and you'll be notified when there's new content. Subscribe to Friedman Adventures, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Man, I'm running out of breath here this beautiful Saturday morning. Always good spending time with you, and I hope to see you really, really soon.